Hello and welcome to Healthy Kitchen 101. Uh, today we got the Oster waffle maker that we bought on Amazon and we're going to take a look through the box's contents with you today. So according to the box, uh, we got a housing that is made from stainless steel, so supposedly it's quite durable. The inner waffle plates are made with a non-stick layer for easier cleaning. Uh, this, we got some standard adjustable temperature control dial and status lights to let you know when the waffle maker is ready to be used and a plastic handle for safer handling. Right, let's open the box and see what it really looks like. So, um, inside the box we have the waffle maker itself um, and some The machine feels quite solidly built, um, it has some significant weight to it. At a brief glance, the top is truly made from stainless steel. It's quite solid. The plastic handle is fine, it's not the best, but it's usable. Uh, while the top is easy enough to open, the hinges are a bit loose. The waffle plates have the classic patterns for shape forming. It's got a matte, non-stick coating to make it easier to clean. And we don't know how good it is yet, but we'll test the non-stick ability in a later video. Um, the metal feels solid as well. Now let's close it up and see the bottom. Uh, it's made from box standard plastic, nothing interesting to see here. Uh, the power cord is here as well and is relatively short. It's about one and a half feet. Uh, you have a plastic cap here to protect the prongs during transportation, but that's just all about there is to see. Now let's move to the control panel. Uh, we got a big temperature control dial over here and underneath we got two status lights. The power button's in red, it's going to turn on when it's plugged in and the ready button is going to turn on when the temperature reaches the correct level. The temperature control knob is quite easy to turn. Next, we'll plug it in and immediately the status lights turned on. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not on video, but the lights in reality are quite dim. I can hardly see them under normal lighting conditions. And now let's crank the dial and uh, depending on how light or dark you want your waffles to be, just adjust the dial accordingly. The further you crank it, the darker it's going to be. The top stainless steel cover warms up only after a couple of seconds. Uh, in the process, we also notice that the stainless steel finishing is quite prone to fingerprint smudges too. They're really hard to scrub off. It's been a few minutes. Uh, we're going to use a thermometer to see the temperature of the top. It's very hard. Our peak recording at minimum temperature setting is around 129 degree to 130 degree. With the temperature of the exterior being so hot already, uh, let's see how it is on the inside. Opening up the waffle maker by the plastic handle, um, we see that the interior has become pretty toasty. And that's it for today's unboxing video. Uh, we'll test the waffle maker to see how it actually performs in a later video. You can check it out if you'd like to know more.